everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent and in this video clip I want to discuss with you the concept of a confidence interval and uh, what this actually uh, means. Now, um, a confidence interval is best explained by saying we have a certain population, this is this large uh, circle here and we take samples from this population here these are these little uh, inner figures and um, the confidence interval uh, is explained by if we repeat the sampling hundred times so if we take hundred of these samples in 95 times for example would be a 95% uh, percent confidence interval. In 95 times, the true population mean, so the mean of this population here, would lie within the confidence intervals that we get for these samples. Uh, so that is the confidence interval. It is an interval, it is a range that is defined for each of these samples. And uh, we also have what is called the confidence level. And these confidence levels are the upper and lower boundaries around the sample mean. Here, this is the sample mean. And this actually defines the confidence interval. Now, if that doesn't make a lot of sense to you, don't worry too much about it. Uh, because I give you an uh, example how we can actually calculate these uh, confidence intervals. So let's go to Excel <coughs> and here I have done a little experiment. <coughs> I've grown um, bacteria on colonies and I simply counted these uh, colonies per plate. So on the first plate I've got 190, 201 and so on and so forth. And then I've done a little bit of descriptive statistics for uh, this particular <coughs> set of data. So this is actually my sample here. And this sample consists of nine measurements here. Now I get this uh, statistics, the descriptive statistics for this particular sample. Uh, I go to data and on the right hand top corner I have this data analysis tool and I clicked on descriptive statistics. I've made a video for that and what we find is here we get uh, a set of data. So we get the mean value, the average number of colonies, that's 187.8. We have a certain standard error. We have a standard deviation. And we also have this confidence level, 95%. And uh, this confidence level here tells us how far away the upper and lower boundaries for this confidence interval are um, when we look at the, the mean here. And we can easily con uh, calculate this confidence interval. So we can say for the top boundary we have the mean plus the confidence level, whereas for the bottom boundary we have the mean minus the confidence level here. So <coughs> we have a uh, we can say that our true population mean would lie in 95% of the cases between 208 and 167 um, colonies per plate. Now I can repeat this experiment, repeat the uh, experiment and, and uh, do this again and again I sample from this population this times this time I took 10 samples and I did my descriptive statistics again. So I went to data, data analysis, descriptive statistics, and I inputted these uh, data here into the uh, field. So you see here, uh, this is the range and so on and so forth. So I've done that. 
I get another mean here. Uh, actually, this is just by default. Uh, it is by uh, it is very close to the first sample mean, but it doesn't have to be that close. We get a standard error. We see that the standard error of this sample is. Uh, considerably smaller than for this sample. And again, we get a confidence uh, level here. And we can, again, calculate the top boundaries. So this would be the mean plus the confidence level, the 95% confidence level. And for the bottom boundary, again, we do mean minus the confidence level one here. So in this case, our confidence, our 95% confidence level or interval, I should say, is between 202 and 172 colonies per plate. And we can do that 100 uh, times, say, and in 95%, our true population mean, our true mean for this experiment would lie between these uh, confidence intervals, would be included in these confidence intervals. So I hope this makes sense to you and it shows you how we can actually calculate the confidence interval from these descriptive statistics. Thank you very much for watching.